Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to go over a uh, Q learning problem. Uh, this uh, often comes up in artificial intelligence, so I thought I'd go over it. Uh, so, uh, the problem's asking, uh, given the following map here, uh, down here, um, where the player starts on tile 2 and ends on tile 6, the player receives 10 points for reaching uh, tile 6 and minus 1 points for all other tiles. From each tile, the player can choose to go up, down, left, or right. However, cannot move outside the given tiles. Uh, the QS, uh, QSA values have been provided uh, right here. Um, so yeah, so this is the environment that we'll be working with. And these are all the Q values that are provided to us. Uh, so the first question is asking us to set up a uh, Q table. Uh, so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna have uh, two different axes for this table. We're going to have actions and we're going to have states. Um, so the states are going to be all the states in this environment that they give us. So one, two, three, four, five, six. However, six won't be in it uh, just because we don't have we aren't given any Q values for for them. So let's just start setting this up. So for one, we're going to have state and we're going to have action. So I'm writing sideways, it's a little difficult. So we have uh, the states we have are, actually we'll start with actions. So we can go up, down, left, and right. So these are our actions. Then states, we have one, oops. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So, uh, if we scroll up to the Q values, let's start with uh, one down, they give us four. So one down is four. One right is six. One right is six. One, two left is two. And I'll speed this up, this part up, as it's pretty obvious. Now with all the values filled in, this is pretty much it. I'm just going to fill in uh, the empty spaces with uh, null values just so it's easier to visualize and know that there's nothing in these spots. So yeah, that is the uh, Q table. So now that we have the Q table, we're able to... Um, well, that's the, that's the Q table. The next question they're asking uh, is to update the Q table after uh, doing specific moves. So in the question, it's asking us... Uh, if the player travels down first, then right, update uh, the Q table with the new values. So how we're going to do this is we're going to use the uh, Bellman equation. And the Bellman equation is as follows. So we have Q, S, A, and I'll go over what each term is. Uh, equals Q, S, A, uh, plus alpha, RSA plus gamma Q prime S prime A Q S A. Hopefully that's clear enough. So first Q S Q S A is basically the value, uh, the Q value that they give us for the corresponding move. Uh, so I'll get into that when we start the actual uh, question. And then alpha is the learning rate, which is provided to us here. Um, and then R S of A is the reward that's um, that's given once we get to once we reach a certain state, whatever state we're going to. Uh, and then gamma is the discount rate, which is shown here. Uh, and then Q prime 
uh, is represents the maximum um, value for, for the next uh, state that we will be in, which again, I'll show you once we get there. Uh, and then QSA is the, the value of the corresponding tile, which we, uh, we already talked about. So let's start. So the first one they want us to do, players travel down. Uh, and if you remember from the question, we start in tile two. So we're gonna go down to tile five. So that's the first move. So the first move is getting us to do uh, two down. So we can go to our queue table and go two down. Uh, we can see that is three. So Q of two down is equal to uh, two down is three plus the learning rate. The learning rate is 0.25. Uh, and then the reward. So the reward is going to be minus one because the only other option is as plus 10, but that is only if you're landing on tile six. We aren't landing on tile six, so it's going to be minus one reward uh, plus gamma. Gamma is the discount rate, which is given to us 0.75. Um, and we have. Um, Q prime. So Q prime in this case is going to be the max value possible for the next state. So we're going from two to five. So we're going to look at five in the Q table and we're going to look at what the maximum value. So we have eight, five and six as the possible values. So we're going to choose the maximum one up from there and that's going to be eight. So eight and then minus Q S of A, uh, Q S A, sorry. Uh, and that is we already solved for that and that's three. So if we compute that, uh, I already have, and that is 3.6875. Uh, so that's the first one. Now we have one more to go and that is, uh, that's right. So we're gonna go from five. So since we're currently at five now, we're gonna go five right. So that's gonna get us to six. So five right, we're gonna compute this one. So Q of five right, that's gonna be, we look at our Q table, five right, that gives us six. And I'll just circle this one from, this is the Q two down, and then this is six, uh, five right. So five right gives us six. So, six plus and the learning rate is the same and the reward is going to change because we're finishing we're reaching the end goal state which is six so that's going to be a reward of 10. so 10 plus gamma which is a uh, discount rate that stays the same minus um, maximum uh, future value for the next state uh, the future value uh, of six. So since six isn't in the Q table, there is no state six, because uh, they didn't give any Q values for six in the question, there is nothing. So it's basically a null value, but in order to compute it, we'll, we'll, get, we'll assign it zero. So again, since six isn't, uh, doesn't exist in the Q table, we can't solve uh, for the next, for the max value uh, of of state six, so it will assign it zero. Uh, minus, and then Q of SA, we saw from before, that is six. And if we compute that, that will be 7.5625. So that we have solved this question uh, for two down and five right. So the uh, last thing we gotta do um, is update the values in the Q table for these. So if we were to go up to the Q table, we would see um, two down and that's currently three. We would update that value in that in the table to 3.6875 uh, as well for five right. Uh, this value six would get updated to 7.5625 uh, um, that we'd solve for. Uh, so yeah, this is a, um, a, a Q learning problem that I addressed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.